योगेंद्र यादव इज माय गेस्ट ऑन द न्यूज आर डायरेक्ट टुनाइट योगेंद्र यादव येस्टरडे यू आर थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द पीएसी ऑफ द आम आदमी पार्टी द पार्टी दैट यू फाउंडेड व्हेन यू केम आउट आई कुड सी दैट दैट यू हैड मिक्स्ड फीलिंग्स ऑब्वियसली यू आर ट्राइंग टू बी एज यू नो रिस्ट्रेंड एज पॉसिबल बिफोर द मीडिया इट मस्ट हैव बीन अ फेयरली इमोशनली सरचार्ज्ड मोमेंट फॉर यू uh in more ways than one or no uh, emotionally surcharged maybe because of the decision but i don't want to comment on the decision part of it uh and i only wish that whatever was decided and the party is very much entitled to taking a decision of that kind uh i only wish that it could take place without all that muck and allegations that preceded it but i should also say or no that in the last 4 or 5 days uh, especially in the last 24 hours I have received umpteen me- I mean innumerable messages SMS uh, Facebook Twitter messages phones from volunteers most of whom I have never known messages of solidarity uh, sometimes of sadness but general appreciation and that is what truly makes it mixed in that sense there yeah. is yeah. Uh, there is so much of gratitude uh, that dominates my thinking sure me, 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 now let's get a couple of things i just want to put it straight to you so that the you know the slate is cleared as it were mr yadav my first question to you is did any point of time though you have said it's not a big deal yesterday you were you used the word it's not a big deal if you or mr bhushan are removed as long as the party prospers but we need to settle some of the serious charges that were put there against you one charge was that you or your office conspired against arvind kejriwal to take over the party convener's job this is what was alleged by the aap Dis- delhi S- state secretary's letter to pankaj gupta of the disciplinary committee were you ever any part of any such conspiracy to unseat mr kejriwal uh arno uh, since uh, that letter is in the uh, it's in the media uh, why don't you look at the nature of allegations i felt that my colleagues didn't have enough time to come up with something stronger and better the so called three evidence one of them pertains to shanti bhushan ji's outburst uh, clearly i can't dictate anything to him no one in the world can dictate anything to him uh, second is about some person who was assisting me his conversation with someone else who was assisting the party both of them have their different versions that other person mr vijay raman has clarified what he said but all this is one year ago this conversation of mr shanti bhushan is 6 months ago the third pertains to an article written in the hindu where that correspondent had then claimed in a conversation which was clandestinely recorded that i had passed some secret info some confidential information about party's internal functioning which was embarrassing as for that another journalist in that very meeting has already published an article in karma because when this came out yes. he was so outraged that he actually wrote an article giving blow by blow account of what happened in that breakfast meeting which clearly contradicts what the journalist is saying so, so but in any case raj uh, ornab all these three do not involve me in any way no, but there is an atmosphere of suspicion there is an atmosphere of intrigue and if i may say so mr yadav you will agree with me you know that there is an atmosphere of lack of trust that has appears to have been built up in the top echelons of the aam aadmi party among top members would you agree with that i mean there this is a cloak and dagger politics that's going on all is clearly not well but i do not see these as final things all such moments arrive in politics you learn you recover these things are not irreparably damaged you there are difficult moments you learn and you move forward have you spoken to arvind kejriwal after the 6 hour long meeting which he skipped yesterday at which you were thrown out have you spoken to arvind kejriwal ah uh, no i'm afraid no i why i haven't yet been why? able to speak to him but he's gone away he's been very unwell no no but what was he has has the relationship between unwell. both of you irretrievably and I really broken wish down that he recovers and he needs a little break no no has the relationship between Sorry? both of you irretrievably broken down not at all or no i would really think uh, uh, in politics there's nothing called irretrievably broken down or things of that kind because politics is all about 
relationships, some difficult, some not so difficult, and mostly politics is about relationships no. over differences. Sure, 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 Difference sure. is the very stuff of politics. Sure, sure, but you One have said learn, repeatedly and since all of yesterday. Us are trying to learn these things. No, no, you have said repeatedly since yesterday that the truth cannot be buried and the truth prevails. What is the truth? No, no, no. Uh, there's a lot of confusion because what happens is that if you speak for half a minute, uh, someone takes out those seven seconds. Uh, this was in response to this happened today. Journalist asked me, what do I have to say with reference to the blog written by my colleague, Maya sure. Gandhi? I said, look, we in the party have decided not to comment on the proceedings of yesterday. Mayank Bhai has commented, but I shall not. I will not comment on those proceedings. All I would say is, finally, truth shall prevail. That's what I said. Now, those three words have been picked up and joined with Mayank's thing, and people are sort of trying to project it that way. No. But I, yes, I do believe truth shall prevail. No, Mr. Mr. Yadav, let, let's, you know, let's cut the chase. I've seen a lot of interviews that you've done, but certain basic questions have been skipped so far. Now, uh, I'm asking you again. Did you have ambitions of running the party or becoming the party boss? Because uh, in June 2014, you wrote that, you know, you wrote a letter in which you made the controversial remark. And I spoke to you about it, that there is a difference between a leader and a supremo. And you had said in that letter that love and affection for a leader turns into a personality cult that can damage an organization and the leader itself. It was quite re clear the reference was to Arvind Kejriwal. You were not referring to someone else. So, were you positioning yourself? Were you positioning yourself for the party convener's role? Arnav, uh, since you have that letter, you would also have rest of that paragraph yes, where I, I say why Arvind deserves to be the leader of the party, why he is undisputed leader of the party today, and why one cannot think of someone other than him as a national no, convener. No, 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 but no, 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 that was the sentence before. That was the sentence before. You said, have I ever you said no, 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 one question. second. You said Arvind Bhai is the undisputed leader of the party. He has richly earned his stature. And we would not be where we are without his leadership. But he went on, to, went on to say after that. But there is a difference between a leader and a supremo. Today, Yogendra Yadav is Arvind Kejriwal, both as party boss and chief minister of Delhi and the boss of all the committees of the party. Is he a, is he a leader or a supremo? Today, today. Is he a leader or a supremo? Uh, or no, I was trying to answer your previous question where you said, Arnav, I was trying to answer your question where you asked me whether I was positioning myself as a national convener. Yeah. And I was saying how ridiculous can it get because uh, everything is here. In no formal or informal meeting did I raise it and I did not raise it because I don't believe in it. Not that there cannot be questions in parties about who should be convener, but in our party, given the current situation and given Arvind's iconic stature, I think the party would gain by his being a national convener. This has been my this has been my position. Shanti Bhushanji has taken a different position, but that's his his opinion. No, what no, can no. I possibly no, no, Ashutosh, do? About it? Ashutosh alleged on 3rd March 2015. Right? Ashutosh alleged, and the fact is once something is said, you can try and clarify it later, but the truth is best told the first time. He said Shanti Bhushanji should also explain what was the conspiracy to replace Arvind Kejriwal with Yogendra Yadav. Now let me come down to the basics. There was a growing belief among a section of Ahmadmi party leaders that Shanti Bhushan and Prashant Bhushan would have liked to see you, though you never expressed your ambitions clearly, to be the convener of the Ahmadmi party, rather than this be a party where Arvind Kejriwal was both chief minister and party boss. Then it's in that context that I'm asking the question. These are, these are things which have been said within your party, not outside, Mr. Yad. We are speaking of three different individuals. One is Yogen Yadav, who you say has never expressed these things. You think it's a somewhat hidden thing, but I mean, please take me on my face value. Second is Prashant Bhushan, who has also not said it. Uh, he has never raised this question. If there is evidence, let's share it. Let's talk about it. And third is Mr. Shanti Bhushan. Now, anyone who knows Shanti Bhushan ji knows the fact that he is not 
someone who can be dictated by anyone. Shanti Bhushan ji is his own man. Uh, and the assumption that someone like me can ask Shanti Bhushan ji to say things, uh, this is a rather odd assumption and people don't know Shanti Bhushan ji if they think so. Okay, we have uh, specifically raised four or five larger questions which have nothing to do with national convenership of our being PAC members. Our questions are number one, how do we strengthen transparency within the party? Two, how do we ensure that our ethical conduct remains above everyone else? Sure. Three, how do we strengthen internal democratic procedures? Four, how do we ensure that volunteers' voice is heard and registered? And five, how do we give greater autonomy to state units? These are the issues. But if you're not are in the PAC about, of the party which takes all the decisions, how about. will you make these changes? If you're not in the PSC of the party which takes the decisions, if the people who are in the PSC of the party, majority of the people distrust you and have asked you to go, you're clearly not going to be in a critical decision-making body of the party. How will you make these changes? Uh, number one, PAC is not the only decision-making body in the party. National executive is actually far more powerful than the PAC. Number two, you don't have to be in a position of power. I know of dozens of volunteers who deserve more positions than I do, who are in no position of power and who have actually contributed in a big way. These positions don't matter. One has to continue. It's a movement. We have all contributed to it. And I will continue to contribute to it. Okay. Yogendra Adab, you're going to stay within. You're going to be a pressure group within the Thank party. Well, I don't know. If you're not talking to Arvind Kejriwal where this is going to go, as and when that meeting does happen, we'd like to know whether you are able to break the ice. Yogendra Yadav, thank you for talking to me on the news app. Thank you very much.